Hey everyone, and welcome back to another commentary by Snatic Starcraft. Um, recently in the latter, there hasn't been, uh, it's all been really Zerg vs. Zerg and Zerg vs. Protoss for me. I haven't played a single Terran in around, I think like 15 games now. It's kind of getting ridiculous. So, uh, there's not really much good, I, I don't think there's any much good games I could really cast at the moment. I mean, most of them are, like, I, I really feel like Zerg vs. Zerg. The games are so short, and I don't know. It that it's probably one of my worst matchups, but um, they're always so short. It seems like it's always some stupid all in early, or you just die to mutas, or it's really I, I don't know those games. I don't know which ZBZ I should cast, but I'll, I'm looking for a good one. Most of the ZBZs I play are like nine minutes long, though. Uh, either I'll all in them, or they'll all in me. <laughs> And, uh, that's the way it goes, man. I mean, I, there's Tenpool, Spinecrawler, all ends and all that. I've been really eager to face a Terran, but I haven't played one in forever, like I said. And playing against Protoss, which is like 70% of my games right now, I feel like they their play revolves around two base all ends. They always do a two base all in. It's, it's ridiculous. Like... They, I don't think I've seen a Protoss go to three bases. Well, they go three bases, but after they're all in, they go three bases, and then pretty much it's game from then. I've been winning most of these games, and uh, pretty much, yeah. Forgot the production tab. There he goes. Go. Uh, he's opening up with a Forge expansion while I go with my standard 14 pool. Not doing a 12 pool, because. Uh, not much people Nexus first, really. Um, I mean, the really greedy people do, but I haven't found it to be as effective as I thought it'd be. I mean, not as much people Nexus first as I thought, so I reverted back to the 14 pool, but it's always good to uh, use a 12 pool once in a while to, you know, just throw your opponent off. So I'll be getting my Queen, my Lings, and some uh, Zerglings out pretty soon. As he expands, trying to block the hatchery, but. Uh, or not hatch, we're trying to block his nexus, but mm, he drops down to four. Building his cannon now. Uh, Overlord coming here. Here is a good position to st send your Overlord, because uh, you can spot for four gates. Uh, or not, sorry, not four gates. The other game, uh, I spotted a, four, a fake four gate with uh, an Overlord here. So it's really handy to see if they actually expanded, but uh, in this case, he blatantly threw it out. I think I saw it before, so yeah, it wasn't really a problem. I don't even know what I'm talking about. He forged expanded. Why the heck am I talking four gates and stuff? Anyways, uh, throwing down my expansion after a, a couple of pylons blocking that. So that was pretty annoying, but no big deal. Oh, uh, Lord, just gonna chill over there. And, uh, it really depends what he's gonna do, because uh, I'm just gonna go to four bases. Seeing that probe go up here, I do decide to chase for it, because I know it's gonna build a pylon and. Warp zealots and stuff when I get my third. Checking for cannons first, of course. Overlord is going there to spot for cannons and stuff. And uh, I'm searching for that probe so it can be less of an annoyance later on in the game. And uh, I just slightly, barely did not... Oh, I did see it, except... Uh, I didn't... I didn't see... I, I, I would have saw it. I would have seen it, but... Uh, I was busy injecting and macroing and all that other stuff. So I guess he managed to slip past and keep his probe there. I'm kind of wondering where his probe went because I'm like, he, I I, know, I saw him go up here, and I mean he can't he couldn't have just disappeared, but I guess I just gave up and thought maybe I saw it wrong. So I'm gonna throw down my third hatch here. There it goes. This one's about to complete. Queen transferring over, injecting zergling speed. Lots of drones. Uh, 23 to 26. I'm a bit behind because I did throw down that hatchery. Uh, so that stopped my uh, drone production by a little bit, but I will catch up really fast once uh, my injects and minerals flow. So checking for any tech uh, over here. Some, sometimes they like to throw a Stargate here, so it's harder to spot. Some stuff here. Uh, I realized there wasn't really anything there, so I'm going to bring it closer and try to scout right through the middle and see most of the things there. Not much people put their stuff here, so that's not really too much of a big deal. This is gonna finish pretty soon. Just droning up crazy right now. Uh, pulled off ga guys off gas as well. Should be getting my layer pretty soon now after Zergon Speed has completed. 
There's the layer and third gas coming down. Evolution chamber always handy to have to make uh, you know upgrades, uh, sport crawlers to do some one gate thing. But it looks like he has chosen to hide his tech where my overlord is, so that's really lucky for me. Actually, there's not much place you could have hit it, but uh, I mean here is really easy to scout if uh, I have an overlord here. Here, not so much, but it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of closer to the entrance. But I do see the Robo Bay and Twilight Council coming down, so uh, what that tells me is he's probably not going Colossus, I can tell you that, because uh, I don't think, there's just too much stuff in front of us, too much tech, you can't go Blink, Stalkers, Colossus, and stuff all at the same time unless you're playing a macro game. And uh, it doesn't look like he's gotten his third yet here, or his third down here, so uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be some Blink, uh, Blink, yeah, Blink Stalker and Mortal fight. So, uh, Immortals are really annoying against Mass Roaches, obviously. So, Roaches only is not the best composition. So, I do decide to go for a Hydralis then, and these are going to help me out later in the game a lot. Keep, I'm just going to keep on droning up here. 51 to 48 now, with 12 more drones on the way. Uh, after my scout, I did see that he had, what, what, his army's like one zealot and two sentries. That is nothing, man. You don't need to start building units yet. Uh, Pokemon Jones right now at 63. Uh, Roach speed on the way and uh, plus one armor on the way. And uh, getting my gases running, getting ready to defend this uh, pretty much all in because I don't see a third base coming up anytime soon. I mean, sometimes they warp prism stuff and come here, or they come here, or they come here. Most common base for Protoss is probably here, and then here, and then here. But, uh, so I don't see any of those bases being taken, so I am expecting a pretty much all in. I see the probe there now, and I, uh, I go like, oh, okay, the probe was there, so I'm stupid. And I will send some roaches to deal with it in a second. I'm only making units now, because uh, I do have enough drones. 67 now, that's enough drones for me to start uh, just massing an army and defending this all in that uh, I think. I think, I thought it was uh, Blink Stalker and Mortal, some, that kind of all in, but turns out he did go for a Dark Shrine right after that scout. And uh, he made a warp prism, so uh, he's probably gonna drop some DTs in here, and that's gonna be really annoying as my army is all the way down here. It's not too big, and I don't have any detection to be seen. So catching this little zealot uh, and pylon made me fairly happy. I felt like okay, I stopped like lasers attack for a while, and you didn't kill any drones at my third, so that's pretty good. Uh, Dropping four DTs now, I completely, I can't see any of this, so that is going to be really bad. That's a lot of DTs, and five DTs with 45 damage a hit can kill stuff, man. Here he's going to come in, I'm still building my army, expecting uh, Blink Stalker and Mortal to come all in. He starts swiping at my hatchery, I realize, oh crap, I don't want to be my drone, so I can actually do all of them immediately. He is going for the lair, but I uh, managed to make two overseers before that happened. That would have been really bad if I couldn't uh, make these overseers. As I would have no detection at all. Uh, looks like he's gonna walk them back in to his, walk them back, pick them back and then into his warp prism. Uh, realizing my army is here and the overseers are here, so uh, he didn't manage to kill this hatchery though. He's going for my third hatchery up here. With the other pylon up here, so that's gonna be annoying. Killing my spot four colors, so I have those tech in there. Gonna have to bring my forces over there to be with this. But he does get the hatchery down, which is uh, a really big annoying. 65 to 74 drones. But the problem is, he still doesn't have a third base, and I know that. So I'm going like, is there such thing as a DT all in? Or maybe he's mustering a big force at home, so. I'm still expecting for that kind of all in thing to come in, because he's still on two bases. Trying to make uh, retake all of my bases now because I have so much drones, you can't expect them to all mine off of this one base. You're gonna need bases, and uh, DT harass is gonna be constant, so felt like I was gonna maybe lose one of them, and I'll make a backup one here in case. So, three hatches on the way, plus one's about to finish. And uh, what is he doing back home? It looks like he's adding more gateways, so it is gonna be a two base all in. I decided to counterattack and 
not really a counterattack. I didn't feel like I could kill him with this, but I, I needed to see his army composition, how big his army was, and uh, so I decided to go up there, and uh, I didn't really see too much. I saw these, like the first couple of units here, and I see an immortal zealots. So I'm going like, okay, uh, so I was right about the immortals, but not quite about the flame stalkers. So uh, I'm going to start making a bit more hydras, actually. Because hydras are good against immortals. Bet you didn't know that. You know, hydras are useless. But they're actually pretty good at certain situations. The spine crawler died. Ouch. Dark Templar on the way, but that will quickly die to this spine crawler, I believe. I don't think I even noticed it. It's getting poked at, but nope, just ran away. Oh, I see it down here. And it's dead. So making a bunch of uh, just Roach Hydra, getting both of my upgrades, and uh, I know that he's stuck on two bases, so I feel like he's gonna mine out. Setting another scout just to make sure exactly what he what he is doing. But I, when I see these like ten gateways, I realize this has got to be an all-in. There's no third base. This I just gotta make units and hold this. And uh, although his drone count is higher, I have uh, my drones spread out and uh, mining more efficiently. So, uh, looks like he's going Archon, Zealot, Immortals, and Sentries, so it's a pretty sp strong composition, but uh, what's wrong in this picture down here? I'll give you five seconds. Alright, there are zero upgrades, so if you guessed that, or said that, or whatever, then you are right. He has zero upgrades. I'm at 1-1 with plus 2 on the way. By the time this attack hits, I won't be at 2-2, but 1-1 uh, is pretty... It's gonna be pretty good. Two overseers to make sure uh, I don't get like DTs mixed with his armies that's killing my stuff. And uh, my army looks pretty big, but uh, Archons are really steady. And uh, Archons are pretty much good against every, uh, every third unit. Plus, you know, 10 more damage from biological. That's quite a bit. This army is actually shredding my mind. I expected my army to do a lot better. It's a lot bigger, but it was managed to kill him. I'm good at my army, but I am able to uh, hold off that attack, and at this point I feel like I can win scouting this expansion. I feel like uh, his two base all in failed, and he's trying to expand off of it, which never works. Uh, plus two finishing, so I feel like I might as well just end the game, build a bunch of roaches, and kill him, as he has no more mining bases. That is, that's his only one. So I'm just going to muster up a bunch of roaches and hydras and move out pretty soon here. Not much to say. He's kind of boosting all his gateways to make a lot of units. I'm instantly saturating this because he has 81 drones. His mines basically mined out. That's getting mined out. So they're all trying to get minnows from that, and that's like super saturated. And I do decide it's time to move out. And I do have plus two plus two while he still has zero zero zero. I mean, he's not even touched his forge at all. Not no upgrades at all. Not even fact that Chrono Boost can speed up those upgrades. Uh, can really help your army. Chrono is dominating. 11 kills, 8 kills, 12, 9. They just destroy roaches. I just have too many and I'm replenishing it so fast. I have 4 hatcheries. Larvae is not a problem. It is resources. Uh, but I am going to keep on grabbing uh, roaches in here. Destroying this third. Once this third is down, I feel confident to take it. Well, I felt confident all the way back here, but once he's dead, I'll be more confident that uh, it's pretty much easy. So once that went down, I was pretty happy. I was like, okay, actually, GG. And uh, he's just trying to muster up some more Archons, it looks like. And Zealots. Archon, Zealot, and Mortal. Still no upgrades. I think he forgot, or he. Chances are he already forgot, but. Roach Hydra's coming in here, he's throwing a bunch of roaches. Uh, this army even gets. He's gonna get a lot of time, so not much he can do. He's already so deep, so. There's a game for you guys. Two base all in. What do you know from Protoss? They seriously need to stop doing that. I mean, make another base, man. All this shit revolves around two base all ins. I mean, two base. There was two Stargates this one game, uh, I don't know, it's always a two base all in though. That's what I like always expect from Protoss, and it's just so easy to stop when they two base all in. I feel like if they like have a real death ball with macro behind it, that that's when they really shine. But uh, I can't really speak much, I don't really play much Protoss, and when I do, I do four gate only, so... 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.